You put extra on top of extra, uh, on ordinary, and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. Nobody asked you to go down here and study to be a dentist and you ain't really good at that. Listen to me. All of you have this gift. Identify it. It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's what you should be doing. You're wasting your time pursuing your passion. The Bible does not mention passion. It mentions your gift. What are you gifted at and do that? Stop tripping. You can do that. If you fry chicken better than everybody you know, you ought to be somewhere frying chicken. Everyone took ownership of their mistakes. Everyone took ownership of the problems. And when a team takes ownership of its problems, the problems get solved. And that is true on the battlefield, it is true in business, and it is true in life. So I say, take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved.